traditional manual materials handling tasks. While being aware and educated about manual materials handling techniques and their inherent risks are helpful, ensuring a safe workplace through ergonomic interventions is important to reduce the risk of musculoskeletal disorders. Traditional manual materials handling is based on the principles of lifting which uses the acronym BAC, which stands for Back straight Avoid twisting Close to body Keep smooth Back straight the spine has three curves, cervical, thoracic, and lumbar. It is important to maintain these curves to maintain a neutral spine when lifting. Proper alignment helps prevent injury, pain, and minimizes stress on the back. The intervertebral discs can tolerate large compressive loads when the back is in a neutral position. Loss of the spinal curve subjects the spine to additional forces that can increase the risk of injury. Performing lifts with a flexed lumbar spine, which means being bent forward at the waist, can increase the stress on the intervertebral discs of your lower back. Discs are weaker when lifting from a flexed position. As mentioned previously, you want to maintain the spine's neutral curves. Injuries associated with a deviation from a neutral spinal position usually result from repetitive procedures. You can achieve a neutral spine position by bending your knees and hips. This will help you to use the stronger leg muscles when completing a lift. Avoid twisting. Discs are weaker when lifting is combined with twisting. The outer structure of the intervertebral disc is composed of thousands of overlapping fibers. When we twist, Half of these fibers unwind making the back half as strong as it was when we were standing in a neutral position. Twisting while lifting places additional stress on the spinal structures. Uncorrected, this causes the structures surrounding the discs to weaken over time, which places them at higher risk for injury. Facet joints on the vertebrae are designed to prevent rotation. If you twist when you lift, these joints become inflamed and sore. The best way to reduce twisting movements is to pivot or turn your feet. If this is not possible, then you should turn your lead foot in the same direction as the lift. Close to body. The joints in your back act like a fulcrum and the muscles work to counterbalance the weight of the load being lifted. As you can see from this picture, the muscles of your back act to counterbalance the weight of the object and the weight of your upper body. The further an object is from your body, the harder your back muscles will have to work in order to lift the weight, which creates stress on your back structures. To avoid this, keep the object close to your body. Keep smooth. Avoid jerking motions since they increase the load on the discs. Avoid sudden release of force. Communication is key when lifting with a partner. Two-person lift. When a load is heavier than what you feel you can lift safely you can ask for assistance. When using a two-person lift, keep in mind the following guidelines. Communicate. Designate one person as the lift leader to coordinate these movements. Talk with each other to ensure the other person knows when you are lifting, moving, changing directions, or setting the object down. The key is to perform the lift operation in unison. Keep the load level. This will keep the weight evenly distributed. When going up or down stairs, the person who is the tallest should be at the bottom. When unloading, you should do so together, ensuring that your knees remain bent. Move slowly. Do not try and rush the lift, take your time and move in unison. It is important to ensure that both people involved with the two-person lift perform the lifting task correctly to avoid the potential of an injury or accident. For additional information visit www.hokao.hon.ca